Hey, Dr. Up. Um, I thought I'd give you a quick screen share to follow along with my text email. Um, so I thought I would actually write you a blog post. Um, the overall topic is how to create worthwhile SEO content. Um, and you can tell that that's over, that's the H1, that's the title of the post. The first thing that you want to do is realize that there's subtopics below that, you know, um, and they're phrased more as questions. And so uh, you want to make sure you add in this and mark it up as a header, um, usually as an H2. Um, so how do I effectively create content for my website? The first thing that you want to do is treat that as a question and then an immediate answer. So instead of, you know, how do I effectively create content for my website that will rank, I don't then launch into last Tuesday, I was sitting on the can and thinking about how awesome I, I am at writing and, you know, don't launch into a narrative right away. Ha keep in mind that Google is going to look at this section of content and try to understand its overall relevance topically, you know, using the terms that are listed here, you know, are they co-relevant to a particular topic? Um, and you want to actually provide an answer, a real answer, that's usually one to two sentences, around 45 to 60 words altogether. So, you know, uh, how do I effectively create content for my website that will rank? Using an engaging writing style while presenting each relevant subtopic supported with a director and answer and various types of content will generally generate content that ranks well. Um, you know, you could change that around. You know, content that ranks well is usually written in a engaging writing style with relevant subtopics uh, supported with a uh, direct answer and additional content. So you want to think through what are the subtopics that people are searching for um, and then support them. So we actually want to, you know, add an, an image. Um, doo -doo -doo, and we'll remove that. that so we'll add an image and I just had this little silly picture of um, a castle that's saying SEO. Um, notice that the file name has changed. It says add relevant images.jpg. Um, so the alt text is add relevant images to create compelling content that ranks. Bada bing, bada boom. That's it. Then, uh, if it is, if it's, there are kind of little bullet point, point items, then be sure to include them as an ordered list, an unordered list, or even a table. Um, you know, kind of answering, you know, how do I do that? So you, you know, specifically, you use the people also ask function to find common questions and actually provide a full answer to them in your post. Include relevant images with appropriate matching file names and metadata. Present additional information in tables, numbered lists, and bulleted lists. So then we would proceed on to the next subtopic of, you know, how to create worthwhile uh, SEO content. Um, so, uh, another common question would be probably be, um, how long does my content need to be to rank in search? There's no specific length required to rank for a specific search. Keep in mind that most useful and complete blog posts 
content generally perform better for additional phrases. So it's, it's not that there's a specific length. You don't have to write more than a thousand words. You don't have to wor worry about if it's less than 500 words. Think about more about, is it complete? Uh, does this completely answer the questions that people have about this particular topic that I'm discussing? Um, so it could be exhaustive or it could be pretty straightforward. Like if the question is, you know, what color chord is a 37B, you know, 36 slash stroke six uh, worker form, it's blue. You know, like it's, that's it. You know, you don't have to go into a huge diatribe about it. So um, find the subheaders, subtopics that make that topic complete when you answer it. Um, so, you know, I would want to add a graphic uh, to this section, um, maybe link out and cite uh, other resources frequently. Be sure to link out and cite additional resources frequently. There's no penalty for linking to other sites. There's no behavioral problem. Like if people see a blue link, they might read it and jump to, the, to that link and come back, or they might open it in a tab to read later, or they might just take it as additional information. Um, so be sure to link out as often as you can, um, particularly to cited you know, medical studies, um, if you're referencing medical facts, it's always good to cite them. If they're in journals, that's always good, to, good as well. Um, so that's kind of the, the sh long and short of it is that you, you want to create an H2, uh, one, at least, uh, one to two sentences that directly answer it and as many additional paragraphs as is necessary to describe fully and support that answer. So you know, I could definitely write more here, write additional content before I change the subject. Um, so, you know, if you find yourself in that writing for that next paragraph, kind of changing tack and discussing something separate, then create a second, uh, a header and treat it as a separate section. But don't be afraid to have multiple paragraphs addressing one page two. Um, so that's the general theory and, and practice that um, I've had the most success with when it's coming to content writing for SEO. Um, I'll send you an email with a kind of short description. I hope this helps.